Welcome back. In this lesson, the last in our series on software development, we will look at two final methodologies for software development and release. These are alternatives to the agile, fast turnaround agile development methods that we looked at in the last lesson. The two methods that we'll look at are Spiral and RAD, short for Rapid Application Development. And then I'll conclude this lesson with a brief overview of all the five methods that we've looked at so far. So once again, you've seen this diagram before. The Agile and XP methods are characterized by quick release, fast sprints and frequent upgrades. But that method isn't always appropriate. So there are other types of iterative method which are less risky and more controlled. Before I go any further, I just want to make the point that none of these terms are set in stone. In fact, they're frequently not even found in a dictionary. There is no central authority deciding how these terms would be used and you will see them used in a range of different ways. So I'm just making my best effort at giving you the common meaning of these terms and how they're used in real life. So we looked at this set of advantages and disadvantages already at the end of the last lesson. Agile and XP methods are quick and they have the advantage of producing regular upgrades, but they are stressful and the product itself is always imperfect. Spiral methodology is an alternative to this. It, it is iterative. It does have a cycle of development and release, but the cycle is takes longer. And there is a risk assessment. So this is appropriate where you've got software where failure would actually be a risk, unlike a computer game where it doesn't matter that much. This would be software where it's actually important that it doesn't just break down. Typically, this would be software being produced for a particular client rather than for a big um, audience of small time uh, buyers. And that customer would actually sign off the different stages, they'd say, yes, I am happy. You've reached my expectations. And there's much more careful planning and testing. And the product will not be released probably until several of these cycles of development when you've got a product that's well tested, where we're certain that the customer is happy and we're good to go. So if I can contrast the spiral methods with the agile method, methods, agile methodology has lots of customers. The spiral methodology is typically that you're working for a key customer or, or software owner. And in the agile method, there are always new problems and there'll be problems left over after each stage and we'll find and fix them as we go. Whereas with spiral, we're, we're aiming to find identify and fix all the problems before we go on. In the agile development methodology, there's, there's a big, there's a backlog which has got a lot of items in it and the sprint will just pick out some of those and just quickly fix them. Whereas in the spiral methodology, we're, we're trying to keep the customer happy by taking longer, but fixing more of the problems until we've got software that's pretty reliable. So although they're both iterative and they've both got cycles of development, you can see that the feel of the two is quite different. A subtype of spiral development is called rapid application development or RAD. And the key thing about that is that we have prototypes. So that cyclical process is the development of um, ever more improved prototypes. But we don't release the product until uh, our final version, which is ready to be used in a, a, a significant, perhaps high risk environment. And if you're my students, if you're an A-level student, the coursework, the A-level coursework is developed like this through a series of prototypes. 
So we would use this prototype method, also called RAD, when it's very important that we, we've got a well-documented list of requirements and it's very important that we meet those. So we can't release, we can't release a half-made version as we might in the Agile methodology. And you've got high quality programmers who can produce something that really meets your customers' needs. So it's a it's a slower and more steady process than Agile, but it produces a better final result. So let me just sum it all up. And this is will really sum up what you need to know about the four iterative methodologies. Two of them are fast and quick turn around the other two are more safe and structured when we hear agile development methodology we're thinking of sprints and scrums when we hear xp we've got all the features of agile plus this new feature of working in pairs with greater support for the stress reducing the stress of the programmers despite the name extreme programming. When we are talking about spiral methodology, we have greater emphasis on risk and customer sign off. It's a slower and more steady process. And with RAD, we have all of those features, plus the use of prototypes and a final version, which will be released for actual use. So if you could just remember those terms on this screen, I think you've probably got it and I'm going to leave you with an activity which is to write an exam style question this wouldn't be an actual exam question because it mentions Star Wars and they never mention real life products and brands in the exam but I'm asking you to think about the different methods that would be used by to develop a Star Wars game or to develop a bank app and the strengths and weaknesses of the different methodologies. OK, so that's the end of this week where we've been learning about software development. Next week, we'll be looking at the different types of programming languages, a.k.a. program paradigms.